what's up beautiful people as always welcome back to my channel and if you're new thanks for tuning in today's unboxing is part two of my present to myself since it's still my birthday month this was pre-ordered and just picked it up yesterday from my local boutique i have a little box right here from my sa Hopefully, it's what I expect it to be. Are you guys ready? Let's unbox together. I am so excited to see this. I'm so glad I went ahead to order because wasn't sure of the sizing. Let's look at this. Here is my receipt. It's a small bag. Oh, something is inside the box. Oh, there it is. I got a perfume sample. Imagination. Can't wait to reveal this thing. Let's do it. Slowly, slowly. Ta -da! Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this beautiful unique piece from trunk collection it's a papillon trunk new for 2021 collection also available in epi leather color black and yellow wow look at this i'm so glad it's longer i was expecting it's 7.5 inches long as it says on the website let's look at that i am very curious because the first thing i asked my sa if my phone would fit is eight inches guys versus 7.5 inches on the website yay my phone would fit let's measure the side the diameter is 3.5 inches Let's look inside first because I want to look at the strap. So here is the strap. Barcode sticker. And the textile tag. Oh my goodness. I don't know where to start here. Let's go ahead and put this chain strap. Very substantial gold metal hardware. Louis Vuitton signature on the snap hook. The good thing about this bag, it comes with two detachable and removable straps. Reason why it has two D-rings. Here you go, guys. Oh my goodness, look at this. Here is the front of the bag. The craftsmanship is impeccable. It's a trunk, but it's circular or tubular in shape. It has this contemporary semi-rigid baguette design and iconic at the same time. Eight rivets in the front with Louis Vuitton embossed on the hardware. And look at that leather. It has the LV logo embossed as well. It says LV, LV, LV here. Here is the bottom, and it's a continuous piece. Here is the side, two D rings. It has another thick leather strap in here. Here is the back with upside down Louis Vuitton pattern. The other side, and this is so rigid and structured. I love the color of the cowhide leather trim. It matches beautifully onto this monogram canvas. Look at the stitching. The details of this bag is really amazing. And again, there's this leather band across at the bottom with LV logo and another four rivets it has this s lock closure 
beautiful gleaming gold tone hardware. Louis Vuitton signature in the middle with leather tub up here. Wow. So this is it, guys. The Papillon trunk for 2021 collection. What do you guys think of this so far? Let's take a look inside. Here you go. It looks like so. Microfiber brown lining. How roomy. I love that it's open space. I prefer that versus compartments. Of course, it can organize your things, but I like easily get my things in and out. No more date code here. It's microchip inside. I don't know where it's hidden. Made in Italy. This is how it looks opened up on the side. And under the flap, there is a plate at the back to secure this S lock. It came with this golden chain. The top handle drop is 6.5 inches here. So you can do elbow carry on here and hand carry as well. Here is the other strap combination of monogram and how high leather at the back the dark brown leather color the thickness of the strap is 1.5 inches so this can be a belt perfect width in my opinion here is the detail snap hook two buttons here with louis vuitton engraved and there are five holes to be able to adjust to your height. And look at that big buckle there. A lot of beautiful details onto this bag. Louis Vuitton engraved at the edge. Because of all these metal hardwares and the thickness of the strap and the chain strap here and all the hardware, it gives a little weight onto this bag if you are going to ask me. Next, the other cons that I can think of, because of it being circular, it will not stay still. It tends to roll, as you can see. So the solution to that, if you put this chain here, it would stop its movement like that. And the third one is the price. The retail is $2,630. Not bad being as a trunk bag because the other phone holder in vertical is like almost $2,300. But this has more details and extra chain and strap. I think this one is priced well considering of all the details, the hardware, and the material and two straps that comes into this bag. The pros is very cute, so roomy inside, and I will do what fits next. And as far as carry option, it's very versatile because it has a removable and adjustable two straps. Well, that's all I have to share with you guys today. So what do you guys think of this bag? Is this something you would consider and add to your collection? Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy this. Until next time, stay tuned for my mod shots. Bye!